Medford will link up with with 93 that they're building right now. Well, God damn. planners, they, sorry, they never saw a road they didn't love, and this one is figuring to destroy 1,500 homes, put thousands more under an elevated highway. You know that one, that green monstrosity that they built in Boston along the Harbor Way? Would you want to live anywhere near there? No way, right? Well, a lot of us in Cambridge have been fighting this for years, and you know what? I think we're getting somewhere. Knock on wood. And you know why? Because we're organized, because we make a lot of noise, and because we've gotten a lot of important, powerful people over to our side. And by outrage, by demonstrating, and by a lot of effective persuasion, and a lot of stick to itness. Well, it's kind of hard to imagine, but at the first, the city planners were in love with the idea of the inner belt. But so were a lot of progressive people. And even businessmen in Central Square somehow thought that having a huge road cut across their district was going to improve business. A crazy idea. And you think business is good along the Central Artery? No. Right? Gas stations. Yeah. Bars. Yeah. 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 So a lot of moms, a whole bunch of moms got together and we organized the neighborhood and then we went out to the League of Women Voters, you know, the Barrel Street crowd. Because they supported this. Yeah, and then they came right over to our side because, you know, as soon as we showed them what it would do to our homes and, and, their, and the community, they, God love them, they were great. But then gradually we got the support of all the mayors, all the city councilors, all the state reps, and most importantly, the senators, that cute Teddy Kennedy, <laughs> <laughs> and Senator Brooke, and dear Tip O'Neill, Oh, God love him. You know, he lives in a neighborhood like this in North Cambridge. And he has been working quietly, in our case, in Washington for us. He has thrown some really healthy monkey wrenches in the right places to stall the dreaded wheels of progress, right? Well, we thought we had a really good compromise to offer when a whole bunch of Harvard and MIT experts joined our side and started proposing a better alternate route. That would go from the Portland Street, Portland and Albany Streets, run along the New York Central tracks, right here, right behind MIT, and go north. But can you imagine? MIT didn't want it. The administration said that it was going to disrupt some of their critical research. Now I hope you're not going to tell me you work at MIT. <laughs> 